Hi, welcome to my next video. This time I wanted to show you something completely different than usual. If you watched some of my recent videos, you know that I was working on a storyboard for an animation. So I wanted to show you how I usually paint a storyboard if I do it by hand uh, in a sketchbook with watercolors. I usually use quite a huge sketchbook. This one is made by Maruman and it says that it's super large, SL size, about two times A4, I guess. I find this method less constraining than using just the A4 sheet with printed frames for each cut. I have a template of 16 by 9 frame and I just put it underneath the paper and it's so thin that I can just trace a frame wherever I want it. In the frames I paint the content of each cut and I mark the transition of each screen with a down arrow. And on the right side I just write a memo uh, about the content of the cut, so for example how the camera moves or how the character moves or what method used to animate this uh, cut. And because this sketchbook is very large I can just do my pans and camera sweeps without bothering with the A4 format, so I just use the whole page as ever I want. I even sometimes do small sketches to explain to myself or to someone how to actually shoot this cut. But of course if a cut is kind of simple and it has just simple movement I do it without the background and just with the character. Ok so if I scan it and turn it into a movie it looks kind of like this. This is a storyboard I did about 3 years ago, just as a project for myself. It was a world that I was thinking about, so I wanted to do a kind of mock storyboard and the beginning of a story. And of course, before doing the storyboard, I always do concept sketches, also really rough with watercolors, and just to get the feel of the world and what I want to show in each scene. It helps to build the volume of the world that you have in your head and makes you discover new stuff that uh, you can later incorporate into the storyboard. Ok, that's it for this video. As always, feel free to comment, share and subscribe. You can also support me on Patreon. See you in the next video. Bye.